Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're doing it again. We're making macarons. But this time, we're making macarons with a little sun sun because I made, in my last video, if you wanna go look at that, I made ube halaya, which is a Filipino jam, which is made from ube, which is a purple yam. Um, so yeah, click ahead and watch that video first. You will see how I made that. And my plan is now to make macarons with the ube as the flavor and the color, because it's a really nice purple color. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So, if you don't know how to make macarons, go click this video, which was my first ever YouTube video, and it'll sh uh, show you how I make macarons. I'm basically doing the exact same thing I did in that, but this time I'm incorporating the ube halaya into the mixture. Somehow, I've still not really thought that through, so we're just gonna go with it and see. And hopefully it'll just be fun, funny, entertaining, or whatever, watching me try and make ube macarons. I really wanted to use ube extract to make them, however, I didn't have any ube extract. I searched the world for it and I couldn't find any, so, what we're doing instead is we're just using the ube halaya. 150 grams of almond flour, 150 grams of granulated sugar, 150 grams of icing sugar, three egg whites, um, vanilla extract, and I've also got some violet food dye paste, not jet, not liquid like I did in the last video. <laughs> what you want to do first is blitz the icing sugar and almond flour together in a blender, our food processor. <laughs> now we've got this all nice and smooth. What we're gonna do is get the egg yolks. So you need three egg yolks. You want yolks, egg whites. So we need three egg whites. So we use one and a half in this part. We use one and a half in the next part. However, it can be kind of challenging to, what's the word? Separate. From here, I'm just gonna put some drops of the paste, and by some, just a bit of some, some on my spoon, into the egg whites, and mix it on in. It won't mix in properly, as you can probably tell. Put this mixture into here, and we're just gonna mix this together. We just mix it till it gets to like this thick dough. And we can chuck this to the side. What we're gonna do next is get the granulated sugar with a splash of water on the hot, on the heat, mix that together to make a syrup. Before we do that, so the remaining egg whites, we're gonna mix them up with a mixer to get like a frothy thing going, get the sugar syrup going, add that to the mixture to make a meringue. So let's do that. What we're gonna do now is slowly, and not slowly, gently incorporate this mixture into this mixture and hopefully we can get it on a poppin'. This is where it differs to my other video about macarons because now I want to also somehow get some ube, ooh, some ube halaya into the situation. I don't know if it's gonna mess with the consistencies but we're gonna find out, okay? Obviously we want to incorporate this. I'm scared something's gonna happen because like the ube has the dairy in it all. and this is obviously dairy free. Like the milk's gonna do something different. This is the color I was going for. This is the color we got, so yeah. So I've added these to a piping bag and I'm gonna pipe them onto my oven tray here. As you can see, it's really small because my oven 
has broken. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna be using this mini oven here and hoping that it still works. If this doesn't work, it's clear the oven's fine. It's not mine. It's not because I can't cook it because the oven's broken. And <laughs> Jenny. As you can see, I've made it a little bit runny, so I'm a bit scared it's not gonna work. I don't know if it's because I added the ube and that's made it runny, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna blob little circles onto the baking sheet, give it enough space for them to spread a little, especially because they're a bit runny, child. And then we'll go from there. Um, then you just bang them like this. To get any air out, and then we're gonna leave them for half an hour to sit, and then we're gonna pop them in the oven. Oh, so, for the filling, I love a Swiss meringue buttercream. So I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to make a Swiss meringue buttercream base, and then put the ube in it. Five egg whites. 300 grams of granulated sugar. We're just gonna whisk that together. We're basically gonna do the exact same thing we did earlier with the macarons. Apart from this time, we're gonna do it the easier way, which I don't know why I didn't do before, where you put it over a bain marie. Keep constantly whisking it whilst on top of the water until that sugar has all dissolved into the egg whites. <sighs> You know when it's done, when it's hit a certain temperature, but who knows what that science is. Or what you can also do is just grab some of it and it should be really smooth and pillowy. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, mm. And that's just that all the sugar has been dissolved, absorbed into the egg whites and it's not gritty anymore. And then basically you just whisk, 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 whisk. Now you literally do need like a pound of butter, I'm not gonna lie, as you can see there's a little lot. But this isn't just for the macarons, this would obviously then be used to ice a cake or cupcakes or something because that's a lot. <laughs> so now what you do is put the butter in piece by piece, as you can see I've already pieced it into like tablespoon sizes and just plop it in whilst you're mixing. Um, and as you mix, it should go like runny and nasty. And then all of a sudden, when you finish, it's gonna be like, boom, buttercream. And we're gonna pop these in for 12 minutes. Twelve minutes, starting now. And now I'm gonna go watch Scandal for 12 minutes. So I bet the first batch, you probably cut out. Because this oven is trash. Ooh! We did it, Joe. We did it. <laughs> so, as you can probably tell, I'm wearing a different outfit. That's because it's the next day. And because this oven is not one for making macarons, let me tell you that for free. So, yeah, I struggle. As you can see here, I hope it'll focus. <sighs> It's ugly. And I think that's because the ube that I put in the mixture of the shells has dairy in it and fat. And macaron shells can be very fussy. And when it was in the oven, it was like, no ma'am, I'm a shrug shrivel up and wrinkle. So this morning I woke up and made another back back more, another batch of the shell mixture and they finally came out smooth, like usual macarons. Um the only thing is, this oven is impossible to control. And as you can probably tell, some are burnt, some are changing colour, some are blah, blah, blah. So these are by far not the best macarons I've ever made. However, they taste nice. And do you know what? That's all that matters really when you think about it. 
they taste nice <laughs> and the weird thing is these wrinkly ones i actually think taste the best and i think that's because it has the ube in it as well so that's why it's got a nicer flavor um so yeah if you want to make ube macarons without having ube extract and using ube halaya this is how they turn out i don't like the color of them at all i don't know if you can see that um do i have to hide yeah i don't like the color of them at all some are a nicer color than others but yeah it's not cute and i don't know if you're able to see but in the filling you can see bits of the ube um how will it work you can see bits of the ube halaya that didn't get fully mixed in but i actually quite like that have a nice evening have a nice day have a nice life do whatever you're doing hopefully um this isn't being horribly boring <laughs> and you, you've enjoyed watching me struggle but yeah um hit the like button comment subscribe share it do whatever let me know your opinions on me trying to put ube halaya into macaron shells i feel like people are gonna be like well duh everyone knows you can't do that oh Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!